Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's up, buds? This looks a little inappropriate. What does? I mean, my, my thing, it wasn't inappropriate, it was just ugly. Just <laughs> <laughs> inappropriate. Let's talk about how we talk to ourselves. That is not the way. It's not. It's not <laughs> so, big dip and little dip. Papa and Mama over here, and we, last night, somebody was like, all I want is to have coffee and Jesus talks with Sadie Rob and her friends. So, so here we are. Get your Drink coffee. some iced coffee. Everybody, go get your coffee, and pause the video, go get your coffee, come back, it can be iced, it can be regular, it can be decaf, it can have more cream than it does have it coffee, which is a lot like me and Lainey's coffee. It can coffee. be shaken. It can, <laughs> it can, <laughs> I can <laughs> literally be anything. I've lost my voice because we've been talking so much. Yeah. I normally don't sound like this. Yeah, we have been talking a lot. And we're going to continue to do that right now. So, this is what we wanted to talk about, which we really haven't planned anything. <coughs> um, but I was thinking how a lot of people are always like, I want a friendship like y'all or something like that. And, um... Kind of started thinking about what the key to friendship is, which I think there's a lot of keys, and I think there's a lot of things that that make a good friend and that make a good friendship. But I think something that speaks to Lainey and I's friendship that's really helped us is like not competing with one another and not comparing ourselves to one another. Like it's never a competition. Like there's enough for everyone. Like especially in just like any talent that we have. Yeah. Like. Literally, we're wearing the same clothes, and we wear the same clothes almost like every day. And not being like, "Oh, you look better than I do." Oh, <laughs> like no, there's yeah. no competition. Like there's enough in the world for both of us. Like today, we were getting ready, and she was like, "My outfit looks a whole lot, whole lot like yours." I was like, "Sweet." Yeah, she was like, "Great." <laughs> and I hadn't even worn. Sweet. She put hers on first. I was like, "Well, I don't really want to change mine, and you don't really want to change yours." So great, that's yeah. okay because like I think a lot of friendships are like oh, what if this boy doesn't like me because, like, you look better? I'm like, okay, well, if they don't like you because you look better, then shoot, that's not your boy, you know? There's yeah. enough in the world for everybody, no matter what it is. And mm -hmm. comparison, like, we hear it a lot, like, comparison is the thief of joy, and it really is. Like, and there's no point. It's silly. It's just, like, a way that the enemy it comes in between friendships and relationships mm -hmm. and makes you run from people who potentially you could love the most because yeah. they put they put the best of both of you and they make it a bad thing when the mm -hmm. best of both of you is not a bad thing it's something to celebrate in yeah. both of your lives and Lainey has a lot of talents that I just don't have and I'm like and she shoot. has a lot of talents that I don't have. <laughs> I'm like shoot we need to be yeah. friends because I want some of that and, and some people so often yeah. were like oh I can't be friends with her because she's like a lot prettier than me uh heck no I'm like can I be friends with you because you're a lot prettier than me and you're really cool <laughs> something I, I've learned too is like when I celebrate you like it does something for me that like like it gives me so much joy like when I'm celebrating something God has gifted her with that I know I definitely don't have <laughs> I like admire it and I learn from it and I'm like that's like amazing I'm like I love that about her and it also feeds my spirit and makes me like like even when it comes to like pretty like it's like gosh she's so pretty but it's like when I tell her oh my gosh you're so pretty it actually like this sounds weird but it actually makes me pretty because it does something in my spirit and my soul and it, like it makes me alive because when you give a compliment to somebody else it does make you more beautiful because you're speaking life and yeah. life is attractive mm -hmm. and joy is attractive and confidence and confidence is attractive you have to have so. confidence compliment somebody and when you have that and you get that something inside of you is like wow like mm -hmm. that was really great but whenever you keep these things in and it's like this like ugliness mm -hmm. just like yeah. stirs up and it, it kind of makes you ugly yeah. in a sense and yeah and i feel like <laughs> I feel like it's like a chain reaction too. Like if you're around your friends and you're being super encouraging, it automatically makes everyone super encouraging. And like that's so true. If everyone's negative or one person is negative, it can also dictate the whole group of friends. And then everybody's negative or everybody's yeah. out for themselves. But when you like encourage one another, it just makes everything better. <laughs> Everybody knows who dictates the weather. That's the truth. And I think like also sometimes we don't think about this and we think this is funny but a lot of times like whenever you whenever you get a boyfriend or whenever you have a boyfriend people say like you want them to be your best friend. Mm -hmm. 
And I feel like sometimes in a relationship with a boy, it's like you forget what a best friend really means. And like some, like how your guy treats you, like that you're calling your best friend, you would never treat an actual best friend, like a girl best friend, or you would never think that they would say anything like that to you. And like I had to challenge some of my friends in that because I had to challenge myself in that. Like mine and Lenny's friendship, like, if you think about how the Bible talks about love, like love is patient, love is kind, it's not envy, and it, and it goes through all these things to not keep record of wrong, and sometimes not self-seeking, uh, sometimes in a relationship with a guy, it's like, it's anything but that. But whenever you're in a relationship with your friends, it's like, oh yeah, like you're patient with them, you're kind to them, you don't keep records of their wrong, you love them purely how, how the Bible talks about love and I challenge you as friends to hold on to that and hold on to how how these relationships are so then when you get in a relationship with a guy if it doesn't match that and it doesn't look like that then that's that's not your best friend that's that may not even be a friend at all that may be somebody that you think you love because maybe you've gone too far maybe you've given your heart too soon maybe you've made mistakes or maybe you're just really um, kind of like What's the word like? It's not like you're kind of just like in awe of them and who they are. Infatuated. Like infatuated. Like yeah. your feelings are speaking louder than yeah. than truth at that point in your life. And so, if you're calling some like a guy your best friend, just take a step back and be like, hmm, would I ever actually treat my best friend like that? And mm -hmm. would my best friend actually ever treat me like that? Mm -hmm. And so, in this season of both of us being yeah. single, just really thinking like, okay. Let's build and let's lay this foundation for what a relationship means to us in our mm -hmm. life, what a friendship means to us in our life, and really what love is and how to celebrate another person in life and how to not be jealous and how to not keep record of wrong and how to love over anything else. And so if you're in this season of singleness, mm -hmm. celebrate it and celebrate each other mm -hmm. and learn how to grow in a relationship. Yeah. yeah, and I would say even like talk about stuff. Like the more you keep stuff like if there's something that you've been hurt by or offended by or I don't know just like there is no wall at all whatsoever right here we're just like hey girl why did you do this or why did you say that or you know why why did you do that and then we just we just you have to be honest you have to be real and like allow your friend to speak truth to you because she speaks a whole lot of truth to me and sometimes I'm like what the heck <laughs> please don't right now i'm not ready for that but in the end i'm so grateful and it actually brings us closer and we're better friends and it 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 ends up helping me so mm -hmm. much so we should tell the story. story what story oh, which one jam? which one like the first time you ever did that to me when you talked to me oh Oh. I'll tell it and then like, yeah. blur okay, okay, okay. Okay, so Melanie and I had like literally just met. Like we probably knew each other for like, what, like three weeks? Like, yeah, yeah, literally probably three like three weeks. But like we were already becoming kind of like best yeah. friends because at Winter Jam you're with somebody for like 24 seven, like not even kidding. You're with them all the time. So a friendship on um, Winter Jam time is like, I see her more than I've seen some of the friends I've known like all my life. So you get really close really fast. Mm -hmm. Well, about three weeks in, I I was like being stupid, like I was literally not thinking at all. And there was this person on tour, and I I should not have been been talking to them. And I wasn't thinking I'm a ding dong sometimes. And I was talking to them, not like talking. I literally was just talking, but it was kind of perceived in the wrong way. And Lainey was like, I'll never forget. She texted me, she's like, we need to talk. I'm like, oh crap, like she means business. Three weeks in. Three weeks in. I was already having to have that conversation. I, know. I was like, shoot. <laughs> so I was like, okay, so I'm literally at Tropical Smoothie. I'm like, we gotta get back with Tropical Smoothie's my jam. So we get back and I was like, all right, you ready to talk? She comes in and like, she was like, listen, like, I need to tell you that like, why did you do that? Like, why are you telling this person that you know what would hurt me, you know? And and we had to go there and we had to talk about it. And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm a ding dong. And I wasn't thinking. And, and we were able to talk through that. But what I love about that story is that if she wouldn't have came to me and been like, hey, listen, like, no, that's not okay. And hey, this is how I receive that. And this is what it looks from my point of view. Then I would have kept doing it, not thinking anything of it. Because like I said, I'm not even going there. But I can see how in her mind she, she went there. And that's okay. And as a friend, I'm like, okay, 
I need to like just just stop because it because it does something to her that makes her sad. And like if she would have never said that and I would have just continued on, we wouldn't be friends right now mm -hmm. because we would have let that lie and in, in our head and that little thing like separate us. Mm -hmm. And something like sometimes in a relationship and I've experienced this with guys too. It's like you let sin come in and you let um, insecurity come in and eventually like all these things you're putting in it's like between you and God it separates you from God and you're really unable to love with the love of the Lord because you, you can't really reach that with all these stuff in between it it's too hard it's like quicksand it's like I want to get to you Lord but I can't because I'm so stuck in these lies and this insecurity and it it really um it stunts your growth in the Lord and it stunts your growth in love. And, and if she wouldn't have said that, our, our friendship would have been stuck there. It would have been in quicksand and it would have just, we wouldn't have been able to get out of it because we were continually putting stuff in that we weren't able to get out of or even get a hold of um, because you let so many lies and so many insecurities come in. So mm -hmm. I guess, it's, yeah, I was going to say too, it's important. Like um, I'm reading this book right now called Me, Myself, and Lies. And I was reading it like right before this and it just talks about like, going off our assumptions and what we think is true and like I was actually believing something that it seemed like it was true but it actually wasn't true and so it was like I had to go to the root in order to figure out what the truth was mm -hmm. and, and and like expose it like put light on it so I could see mm -hmm. that what I was believing wasn't true and so if I would have acted off of what I thought yeah. well then we wouldn't be like she said, we probably we wouldn't be friends. friends. So yeah. it's good to just talk about stuff and expose things. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing with the enemy. He's smart, y'all. He's mm -hmm. not stupid. He's not going to put something in your life that like doesn't even seem true. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, well, that's mm -hmm. obviously not mm -hmm. true. He yeah. puts things in your life that actually seem mm -hmm. true. Yeah. And they actually look legit. But they're not yeah. like he'll put something like that in and be like oh she was she was talking to that to that mm -hmm. guy well yeah i was talking to that guy but was i talking no, no i wasn't yeah. talking to that guy yeah. and so he puts things in your life because he's yeah. like nope i don't want them two to be friends i don't want i don't want this to happen because he sees something good in that just like in in comparison in mm -hmm. comparison and like mm -hmm. things that we have alike like there there is something mm -hmm. good in that but so often the enemy mm -hmm. can t take something good and just completely turn mm -hmm. it into evil but then also on the flip side of that what God can do is take what mm -hmm. the enemy meant for evil and make it something mm -hmm. beautiful and make it something good and mm -hmm. so I yeah. guess just like in a friendship have the right lens on mm -hmm. and like know the friends that dictate the weather in a bad way and know the friends that that bring the best out of you and see the best in you and mm -hmm. like to celebrate yeah um because it's the thing it's all a celebration yeah and i think too like you were talking about mm -hmm. like the enemy like he comes and like he doesn't just like attack us for fun like he goes for the stuff that we really care about and the people we really care about and a lot of times he tries to use the people that we really care about the most to, yeah. to use them to bring us down and sure. as the attack. And like, he tries to divide what God meant for good. And so it's important just to like That's keep so that true. in mind of, you know, when, when stuff happens, like believe the best, believe, you know, the best about your friends and give them the benefit of the doubt before you start just um, letting people that you actually care about you. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So and, and trust your friends. So trust their heart for you. Yeah. If you got good friends. If First get good friends. Good friends. Yeah. <laughs> First look for good people. Um, but yeah, I hope this spoke to some of you in, in your friendships. And, and we don't mean to to say, like, if they're not a good friend, just bow. Like, mm -hmm. don't don't leave them. Um, yeah. You know, because you want what's best for your friends. But, but I do hope that this helps because we've walked through a lot of different friendships with other people mm -hmm. before meeting each other that, that weren't so great and some that were amazing and continue to grow. And, mm -hmm. And uh, friends really, friends make your life what it is, whether that's a good thing or whether that's a bad thing. So it's really, really important to make sure you're you're investing time in, in the best way in these people. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Peace out. <laughs> Enjoy your coffee. <laughs>